Hello and welcome to Megamation Direct Line Training Video. In this video, we'll be going over the Project Management Module. To go into the Project Management Module, click on Special Project Management, and then you can see many screens available to go into. The very first thing you should do when starting a project is define it by going to Project Definition Entry. And as long as there is a project step also created in the project step definition entry screen, you will then be able to utilize the project management console with your project. So first we go into project definition entry and load it up. And you can always search for existing projects or create a new one. Let's say we call it project ABC123. When you tab out, you can see it autofill in the project status to O which means it is open and the project type auto defaults to REG for common regular projects. More project types can be added if needed but it's important to fill in the green fields which are mandatory. You can always add more information in the general information tab if any of these drop downs are populated. There are separate administrative screens available where you can populate the different drop downs available here. Once done creating the project definition entry, you can hit the save icon or go to file, save, or use the keyboard shortcut. You can also reload the same project to see how it was set up. And then it's important to create a new step for the project. So you could use the new step for project button, which will open up the project step definition entry screen and auto-populate the project number which we created earlier. The cursor stays on the step number field and allows the user to type in a new step. If it is step A, once the user tabs over, it fills in the rest of the details and lets you type in step name, like planning. And then, if needed, you can change or provide a step type, an effective date, an estimated completion date. There are optional fields. Once ready to save your project step, hit the save icon and it gets saved. And you can again reload it using the last saved record button. As long as a project definition and project step definition has been defined for a particular project, now you can associate the project step with any work orders, purchase orders, requisitions as you wish and in turn it will return the total amount of expenses against a budget as long as they have been defined in the budgeting details tab. So obviously to have anything defined in the budgeting details you have to click on the add button and type in your budget. Give it a description if you wish. If you have percentages for burden and contingency they can be attached here and then it asks you to choose a fiscal year if one has been set up. Again, a fiscal year can be set up by going to the admin screens if needed. You can also tie an account number to your budget edition. Once you're ready, hit the OK button and it will ask if you have filled in a fiscal year an account code when adding a budget line. So please make sure to create a fiscal year and link your account number before creating a related budget step. So we can always go to module under project management and go down to administrative and set up a fiscal year entry. So if it was fiscal year 2017 we can start it and put in a end date as well and mark the fiscal year active and save the entry. Notice it also mentioned we need an account number. Those can be added in by going from the main menu to administration account code entry where you also have an access for fiscal year entry as well. You can click on account code entry and create an account. If you had any funding source you could choose that from the drop down although it is not necessary and set up your account. 